coach Adrian Clark, quarterback, originally from Lakeland, Florida. Uh, been a long journey, uh, but ended up out here in Dusseldorf, Germany, playing for the Rhine Fire. And I grew up in, in Lakeland, Florida, um, in a place where I think football is played at the highest level in the whole world. Growing up, I, I played with all my friends, and um, in the backyard we'd play football. Uh, after school we'd play football, and it, it meant everything. And so, for me, that, that's what I knew I wanted to do at a very young age. I wanted to go play Division One football and I wanted to become a professional. Having my mom be alone and raising me, football kind of became um, the disciplinarian part of my life that a father normally uh, serves. So I had many coaches that kind of stepped in and were in that father role model for me and that, that really kept me on the straight and narrow at a few times and points in my life where I could have went a different direction. So. I'm, I'm super grateful to have grown up where I grew up and to, to have such amazing coaches along the way. Football means everything to me. So it's just a weird, funky defense that's designed to stop the pass. In reality, we should just check to our own. That's the thing, though, I don't know. Easy. But since now he's a safety, they're, they're, they're missing a guy in the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so one guy going to be freaked out. So instead of using box and hard this week, I think it makes more sense to just tell the O-line what number they're working to. Yeah. What's going on, man? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I'm just, uh, I'm headed to the gym. I'm walking in the city. I got the guy here filming the documentary. You know, wanted to make sure and get Germany's least important man on here so you get a little bit of, a little bit of face time for you. Yeah, we need the lighting. We definitely need the lighting. Hear me out. You heard it here first. Let's hear it. Uh, it's going to be like, It'll be like 9 for 14 for 300 yards. <laughs> Just only big plays, huh? Run the ball, run the ball, play action, deep shot. Honestly, like, I'm expecting that stat line. Yeah. I'd be okay with that. I like it, I like it. Yep. Hell yeah. We got it on film. Yeah, we got it on film now, so it's it's ready to go. Had to make sure you were on here. Give you a little FaceTime. My dog. Yeah, man. <laughs> of course. But yeah. All right, bro. You think. Go, All right, man. Get it in the gym. Yep. Peace. Hi, bro. Yeah. Hello. Who? Kasim Adabali. Don't yeah. know that guy. You gotta Google him. His triceps, I've never seen his big triceps on a human I've ever seen. He, he's a football player like, with us. Oh, okay, okay, okay. American football. Here we go. On the left. With his triceps. He got juicy arms, man. There you go, you can see the tricep. I've never seen triceps like that. We gotta no, get no, 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 I'm not in that shape, bro. Like, <laughs> unfortunately not. <laughs> All good, man. Yeah, yeah. Life's all about timing. I feel like I'm in the right place at the right time. 
being in Europe, right, is uh, the football hype is taking off. I think it's the second biggest sport now in all of Germany, um, beside, behind soccer, obviously. But um, it was cool last year. I got to see Tom Brady play the first ever NFL game in Germany. That was really, really cool. And every week, it seems like there's more fans at the game. So uh, we played in front of, I think, like 32,000 just a couple weeks ago. So that was insane. And I love being a part of something that's on, on the rise. What's going on, bro? Slow motion better than no motion. <laughs> Just waking up? I know you. I got this little documentary going on they're making on me. Oh, yeah, that's right, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you, oh, man. Yes, sir. You got me in 4K. You got you in 4K, baby. Picking your nose yeah, and all. all. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was up all night. I was up all night uh, doing push-ups and sit-ups. <laughs> Just to get ready, right? <laughs> I love it, I love it. What are you most excited for next week when you come to Dusseldorf? Um, that's a good question, bro. Um, if I know anything, uh -huh. I know JJ Clark's gonna go out of his way to throw a ball at me. <laughs> All game long, you know that. <laughs> if I know nothing else, I know that game, I'll get a ball thrown at me. I mean, last year you caught me with like two days notice and you whooped up on me. So I think I completed one ball, maybe. Trying to return the favor? I'm trying to come back. I mean, you, you held me for one one completion and like four incompletions and it was a long day. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm going at number three this year. Uh, it, it didn't count that much though. We got up there and Tyjo Ty cleats up and then we whooped up on you. It wasn't fair. <laughs> you know, that's why I watched the Munich Ravens get ready for Justin Rogers. Double monitor action is crazy. You gotta have them right when you're facing DBs as good as you. Oh uh, man, that's only one of me, JC. <laughs> <laughs> one of one. <laughs> we got the kitchen. Nice. Lisa threw down in the kitchen last night, made everybody ragu. Didn't clean up, you know how that goes. <laughs> got the got the dining room. Oh, we got fans too, bro. So we got this little fan, he made us like the American 18, the Spanish 11. He was a Dragons fan last year and we converted him. Oh, wow. Because Alejandro. go so hard. Yeah, Alejandro's the roommate. Then we got, we got the balcony, baby. Way better. The balcony is not bad at all. Wow, bro. The, then Yoakum was, Yoakum was the, uh, our center. I'm about to pick him up in a few minutes from the airport. So we just took down the door here created like a little trap door to get from one apartment to the other. <laughs> then look who's creeping, look who's creeping. He's always here to whenever I'm on the boundary. Look at this dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Out here telling people to pitch on the ball. Did you see the play he had in the game? So they get a fumble, right? This fool was yelling, pitch it, pitch it. The dude just pitches the ball crazily. Amari catches it and breaks for like 50 yards. <laughs> Bro, you in a documentary? Yeah, we're making a duck. <laughs> What's this, up, man? This guy right here, the the best DV in Europe. Yeah, you heard me. The best DV in Europe right here. Yeah, that's me. Sure. Who that? Who that? This is Justin Rogers. <laughs> oh, what up, bro? what's up, man? Uh, you know me. Just chilling. You know, you know. Omari's always ready. He's just like on the field. You come out and he's just waiting. Yeah, I'm actually watching film right now. Everywhere I go, this guy ball hawk, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, he's watching film. Yeah, I just finished doing my push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm actually watching watching him against uh, Munich. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, lucky you're not out there. Otherwise, you'd be getting toasted. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so it's solid, bro. And then we got, like, two bedrooms, two bathrooms. I'll show you. I'll wake Lisa up. She'll, she'll be excited about this. What, you in the bathroom? Oh, okay. Then I'll show you the bedroom is good. We're lit. A little messy right now, but, you know. Living good. Got the, got the, the second balcony? What do you know about that? What is that about, This is the private balcony. See, the other one, the neighbors can kind of see you and stuff. When I want a little peace, some time alone, we come here, chill out, do our thing, relax. You know, have a meal on the balcony sometimes. This is, this is a good vibe, bro. Oh, it's a great vibe. Then the, the bathrooms are dope too. Like we got the we got like the, the glass shower with the waterfall shower and everything. 
you know, you know the European bathrooms are usually terrible. A shower out here, you can barely fit in it to get it started is terrible. <laughs> so that's like low key the best part is the bathroom. Yeah, so yeah, bro. I got the huddle remote now. I got the full film room. I just I just tap in. Oh man, bro, no way. I used to dream for times like these. <laughs> bro, you're all right, Hit me later. All right, man. Peace. Good luck this week. You got to get that dub, man. Yes, sir. Right. I'll hit you, bro. Yep. Peace. All right. He was my teammate in Hamburg, and now he's playing in Munich. Last year, when I signed with Ryan Fire, I only had like two or three days to get ready to play him. This year, I've got time. I'm ready for you, Justin. So where are we heading to? We're going to go pick up my number one guy, Yoakum, the center. Takes care of me up front. Make sure the o line slide in the right way. Makes all the calls. Make sure I'm protected. That's most important. So Yoakum, he's a cool dude. He's from Denmark. Goes by JC, but I'm the real JC. Never forget that. Um, I think what makes him special is that he is strong, but super intelligent. He's big. But what's really, actually the thing that makes him the most impressive is his ability to bend. I've never seen a big guy be able to get so low and get up under guys when he goes to block them. So he's got a great ass and great knee bend. That's, that's rare in big men. <laughs> Nicest guy off the field, but on the field, you don't want to get uh, him upset. So um, getting him this offseason, I think, just anchors the O-line. Just having that guy in the middle with experience and intelligence just changes everything. So. Um, don't ever tell him I said this, but he's very important to the team. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> ah, there we go. They have Danish flags. Oh, of course. This place is Danish. <laughs> We're going to go to my favorite bakery. I'm convinced it's Danish. The Danish guy says it's not, but who really knows? Have you been there before? Yes. <laughs> and uh, there's nothing Danish about it. <laughs> We're gonna go in but. and we're gonna we're gonna ask the workers, is this a Danish establishment? And they're gonna confirm that I'm right. Okay, we're gonna do that. <laughs> Headed to the Danish bakery. Here we go. <laughs> That is very Danish looking. I just want to point that out. What is looking Danish? It's for sure Danish. I've got more than Danish. Kurze Frage. Kurze Frage. Diese Bakkerei ist von Danemark, yeah? It's a Danemarkish team? Nein. 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 Nein means yes. <laughs> I'll, I'll translate for you. <laughs> I, I told you. Okay. Last week was Danish week, so that was the confusion, all right? Anyways. Um, when I first came here, I thought it was Monopoly money. With all the different colors and stuff. Kind of cool. We're like super chill, funny, lighthearted guys off the field, but on the field we're both very, very intense. So there's like a mutual respect for that, and it, it never like one doesn't bleed over to the other. Like we can be super intense in the game. Most of the times on the same side, every once in a while we'll butt heads on the field, but most of the time on the same side there. But then as soon as we're off the field, it's like, it's like a brother to me. So it's great having him. Oh yeah. I think, and I think uh, Jay being around Philip in Hamburg kind of <laughs> like lured him into the Danish mindset yeah, a little bit. So it's kind of funny there. I actually, I feel like if I was, if I was born in Europe, I would have been a, a Danish person. I love, oh, yeah. I love the Danes. They're <laughs> awesome. The mocha. I drive like it's a Formula One race. <laughs> it's Mario Kart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Skrr. Skrr. Hey, what's up, man? Like <laughs> How to pass was inside? Yeah, no, no, I'm going to stay outside. I'm not going to stay here. What's up? What do you have for me? What do you have for me? I have rope t-shirts. Oh, for me? Does it say, uh, 
Yeah, Fernando Nieto. Did they put this in a mailbox? <laughs> really? Go Academy, thank you very much. Taught me a little bit of German. Definitely helps connect with the people locally if you can speak their language, so it was awesome. Had a really good time this off season learning German with you guys, thank you very much. Our safety 22 from America, we only have automatics typically in America, so we took him to a parking lot. He's a quick learner. He learned how to drive stick in about 15 minutes, about 80 stalls later, but hey, who's counting? What's up, my guy? How you doing, bro? I'm good. You going to the gym? No. Where you going? We go to the gym. We going to the gym. Really? Yeah, you should come. This is my guy. We've been trying to play together for like three years. Bro, they, they didn't want to let us do it, but now they did. They, they didn't mess up. Now we're trying to get up there. Who says white guys can't jump? <laughs> What are you up to? Nothing, Me? Bro. Nothing. Just hanging around. <laughs> just hanging around. Hey, how about you? The homies, bro. We're just chilling. You know. We look out. He's angry. He heard Switzerland's coming to town. He doesn't like him. We gonna, we gonna fuck him up. Bro. We got you, bro. So this the Swiss dudes? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, we don't wanna. We don't wanna. What are your thoughts? No Swiss chocolate over here, baby. Only Belgian. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Jadrian. Oh, my boy, what's going on, man? Mommy. What's up, man? You good? Yeah. What is he doing? The yeah. best yeah. steak yeah. in all of Germany, right here. Nerdos Best of Fly Shit. Thank you. The boy's got the Ryan Fire hat. He's certified. He's an OG. Hey. Burger, steak, whatever you want, come here. This is the best place. Tell me, what's your favorite thing about Ryan Fire? <laughs> the players. Yeah. I like the energy in the stadium. The fans are amazing. What, what's the best thing about working for Don Carne? Um, I'm a butcher, so it's really good that you can say that I actually really work with good meat. I can stand behind it every day when I come here. The customers are really nice. The people around me are really good. It's just fun to work here. Yeah, you treat us like family, man. You make it yes. nice for us. Yes. Being so far from home, I love having it. We just found your uh, your twin, bro, on the way here. Yeah, we do. You know the song uh, on the yeah. bullshit. We don't want that. We want cars. The reason why we listen to twin women, the boy. That's what we do in Paris. That's what we do in Paris, man. Fashion week is for us. They came. They came. It's about the lights that we put on in the city. The lights of the Eiffel Tower. I'm in charge of it. I'm the one who's putting it on everywhere. I'm Birdman. That's why I am. I'm Birdman. In Paris. In Paris. You're a bird, man. Stay on point. You got it? Yes. Alright, break it down. Let's get rolling. Let's go. 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 Let's
Good, we need to laugh. It doesn't work with that. It's like it's a game. This is an O-line touchdown catch. Welcome to the vlog, Muzan, 2023 takeover, Wole J. What do you think about living in Germany? What are your first thoughts? It's his first season in Europe. Definitely different from New York, but it's dope. I ain't gonna lie, we making the most out of it, you know what I'm saying? Bringing the swag over here, some light. My favorite thing about TJ, a lot of guys come over here, they tiptoe, they're a little nervous, they ease their way in. TJ came in talking day one. He's a crazy dude, but we love him. still talking. On day <laughs> <laughs> oh, me, bro. Oh, 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 man. My heart really beat like that. It's dudes that pretend and it's dudes that really like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, I'm playing. This is my dog, right? Here. My dog. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, man? Oh, hey, fun fact. The lips too. hey, fun fact. America, we only have automatics typically in America, so we took him to a parking lot. He's a quick learner. He learned how to drive stick in about 15 minutes. About 80 stalls later, but hey, who's counting? My dog told me how to drive manual in 15 minutes, you heard? Quick learner, baby. That, that fast? What other quarterbacks is doing that in the ELF? Cat. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, one way. One way. Yeah. But what's it like having him as a quarterback and like their relationship with him? What's it like? Well, Jadrian does a uh, he does a hell of a job. He's a uh, really serious about football, and he's uh, he's he's got the intangibles as well as the tangibles. He uh, he can obviously throw the football. He's also always obviously a very gifted football player. But uh, it's the intangibles. It's the leadership. It's the way he works off the field, studying film, and, and doing all those things. So, uh, and he's really, Jadrian's a good, good human. He's a good guy. So, uh, teammates really like him. He's a really good teammate. I just uh, love having him. I really do. I just, uh, I just think he's a, he's a, a really good person. What's the idea? Yeah, class. Sure, sure. Thank you, sure. The Jordans, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. What's up, buddy? How are you? Good? You're yeah, good. I ordered a nice one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Treat us too good, man. It's unbelievable here. Roby started coming here last year. Roby's infectious personality. One thing leads to another. Treating us like kings, man. It's unbelievable. We love Katara. Go people. You see, it was the bad. That's what we do. We give him a thumbs down. Nobody laugh. He's trying to explain the joke, bro. Get him look. I'm taking a sip of water because he awkward. If his if his parents was black, he would be black and for a third time now. <laughs> but everybody understands it now. No. Yeah, buzz him out. Buzz him out. <laughs> they want to take pictures. 2022. Everything was cool. Here in Ryan Fire, we're at now. Um, he wasn't here. He was playing in Lubeck. And unfortunately, an injury had occurred at the quarterback position. And we were struggling to try to find the quarterback. And I was like, who do I know that could possibly play quarterback here fast? I thought he already. So I just called him on a whim and just asked him, hey, like, this is what happened in the situation. And he said, I could be out there in a, in, a, in a week, whatever you need me. And next thing you know, he was out here and he ended up uh, coming out. Coaches liked him and brought him back. I mean, it kind of the rest is history now. So now when people see Clark, it's kind of like Clark and Roby and Roby and Clark. When they, when they talk about European football now with the passing and all that stuff. And, and, it's, and it's been like that, too. It's just he, he throws, for me, a very easy catchable ball. And he always tells me I'm the, one of his favorite targets to throw to and that I'm one of the easiest targets to throw to. So it's just something that works. I mean, throughout it all, the ups and downs and everything like that, for me and him just to kind of be where we're at right now and, and to kind of understand where our, each other's journeys are at, it's a blessing to be, uh, to be here and call him a friend and to call him a brother and to, to kind of take him in as a family, even though we're ups and downs and all that stuff. So it's been pretty good. I, I love this game more than anything. It's, it's truly my passion.